Welcome to Vention Tips. Today we'll be taking a tour of Vention's CloudCAD platform, Machine Builder. You'll learn about different menus, part categories, and settings available to you as you design your machine. To access Machine Builder, log into your account and click Create New Design to begin building. From here, you can either select the type of application you wish to design or select Blank Design to create your custom machine. Enter a title and additional information about your design in order to get started. You can always come back to edit the design properties later on. On the left, you have the Parts menu, which includes all our parts grouped into categories, from structural, frame accessories, fixtures and tooling, and many more. You can browse by category or by brand. At the top of the Parts menu, you may access our additional part menus, including your own imported parts, as well as public parts made available to all our users. To add a part to a design, click the part in the part menu and click again to drop it in the 3D workspace. If you are adding an extrusion, you will also have the ability to resize the extrusion at that moment. When you left click on a part, the navigation compass appears, offering the option to move and rotate, resize, anchor or unanchor a part, or attach or detach parts. Right-click on the part for more options, such as make transparent, hide, delete, and highlight connected parts. We often refer to the Vention part menu as a click-and-click -click interface. When connecting parts together in the workspace, the navigation compass will appear. Use the left-right arrows on the compass or on your keyboard to toggle between various connection options for the selected part. To slide a part along its degree of freedom, simply click the part and drag it along its displayed slider. At the bottom left corner, you have the 3D cube to help orient your design. You can click on any face to jump directly to that view, or click and hold to rotate. At the top left of your screen, you will find the main menu bar, including the title of your design, the design ID, and the version of the design you are currently working on. The small arrow next to your design title opens up your project action menu where you can access your design properties, bill of material, assembly instruction, and more. At the right of your design's title you will find the quick action icons. This includes the saving, the bill of material, the revision management tree which allows you to access all previous versions of your design and who created them. Versions are saved automatically, so at any point you can open a different version of your design which has been previously saved. And finally, the snapshot tool, where you can easily update your design thumbnail for easy retrieval among all the designs in your team dashboard. In this menu, you can create new designs, open existing designs, insert a component, save, and more. One exciting feature is the possibility to import other CAD files to your design by clicking and selecting the file. SolidWorks, CATIA, Inventor, STEP, and IGS are all supported file formats. From the Help menu, you can access tutorials directly or discover the CAD's useful keyboard shortcuts organized by Assembly Essentials, View or Orientation Mode, or Tools. Access the CAD settings from the menu. From here, customize your machine builder view and display units, toggle on and off selected toolbars, adjust your visual display preferences, smart design features, and behaviors linked to your mouse preferences. Along the top of the screen, you will find the general design toolbar. Here you will find the parts annotations where you can see the price of each part, the serial number, or the dimensions. To turn these off, simply toggle the icon and select Hide Annotations. Below you will find the Measurements tools. Measure face to face, edge to edge, and point to point. To turn these off, simply click the Measurements icon and select Toggle Visibility. To the right you can select the units you wish to design in. You can work with either millimeters or inches. Below. You can select the part snapping increments for your design, going from 45 mm to 22.5, 11.25, 5 to 1 mm. 
Note that working with the 45mm increment level will give you the best trade-off between speed and connection option. To the right, you will find the Modify section, where you have the possibility to undo changes and group or ungroup components. The View section offers an array of options. You can select a preferred visual style to work with including Shaded Line, Shaded and Wireframed, or simply Shaded. You also have the Exploded view, which allows you to see how all the parts from your design fit together. Here you can see your design structure, where you can find your parts tree, listing all of the parts contained in your design with their associated fastener. If you'd like to locate a specific piece, simply click it and it will appear highlighted inside the design. Finally, you have the Fit to View icon which brings all the parts located in your 3D workspace into your screen view. Next we have the Part Connection section of the toolbar. The point-to-point -point connection which allows you to manually create a connection between two parts that are floating in your 3D workspace. The connection checker ensures that all parts are properly connected in your design. In the design validation section, you can request design support from our team of application specialists. You can select the type of help you are seeking as well as the scope. You also have the option of using the automated design check to make sure that all proper connections are made and that no extrusions are interfering with each other. For new users, you may want to take a look at our instructor feature. By toggling on the instructor, a window will appear generating suggestions and comments when you click on different actions in the machine builder. On the far right of your toolbar, you will find tools to facilitate collaborating with your team. You can leave and edit comments about your design for your teammates. You also have the option of exporting your design as a step file, which will allow you to import it to different 3D softwares such as SolidWorks, AutoCAD, or CATIA. The share icon allows you to add collaborators to your design as well as publish it to the community. At the bottom of the standard parts library, you will find the add-on and software buttons. Use those to complement your design bill of material before ordering. Note that these parts will not appear in the 3D workspace. As you design, the price of your assembly will be calculated in real time. Clicking the cart icon will also display the estimated assembly time and weight of your design. You will also be able to download and share a PDF quote. To view your bill of material, simply click on the quick action and this will open a new tab in your browser. Here you will find an itemized list of all the parts included in your design. When you are done with your design and ready to order, simply click the shopping cart and move through the checkout process. That's it for our tour today. Happy designing!